Hi, I'm Greg from King Sunglass. We're a sunglass dealer, specialist, consultant, critic, and we really like Oakleys. We do do Ray-Bans, we do do some other brands, uh, but we're definitely Oakley. Which is good, because I think they're one of the, the best brands out there, maybe the best brand for mountain biking. There are some other brands. Uh, but today we're here to talk about an Oakley product. It's a new Oakley product. I meant to do a video about it um, about a month ago, but I kind of delayed things because we were going to go to the Morvans. Morvans got cancelled. Um, I was going to bring this lovely cabinet here, filled with sunglasses. That was going to be good. Going to get some good deals, but it got cancelled. Um, then we had to have a sale to get rid of all the stock, which again was quite time consuming. Then we're going to go to Ard Rock. Let's not talk about Ard Rock. Um, although those guys, they did raise a huge amount of money, so kudos. But we're here to talk about something new. I think it's something quite big. I'm quite surprised that Oakley haven't done anything about it, or no one else has. Um, none of the big brands, the big companies, seem to really know anything about it, which is a bit, which is a bit odd. Um, but I've been sitting on it for about. A month I haven't done anything also partly just because it was a new product there wasn't a promo there wasn't a release so I didn't know if I was allowed to um, but it's on Oakley website now it's been on Oakley's website for a week maybe two weeks now so I'd like to talk to you about it um, so for years what we've had uh, as Matt and Mike is, is we've had to use MX goggles and Oakley's goggles are great. Um, obviously, I think that Oakley are the best. So the good thing about Oakley is it's good quality. It's robust. Uh, it's it's built. It's it's a quality brand. A lot of people think that it's a designer brand, but it isn't actually a designer brand. It was a quality brand that became designer, which is completely different. Where you get a lot of other brands, let's take Calvin Klein, just as a, a sunglass brand, although don't sue me. It's a clothing brand that do sunglasses, rather than a high quality brand of sunglasses that have become a global, I'll use the word phenomenon. So the point is, Oakley are very good at making goggles, they're very good at making sunglasses. So, for a while, we've had a, a mountain biking lens about three, four years, Oakley brought out something called a Prism Trail, which what Prism Trail lens does is it brings out the terrain better than a normal tint. I found it was a bit too bright. I found that it wasn't really as good as I'd like on a normal day. I found that I was wearing a darker lens. I was actually wearing a Prism Road. Don't tell anybody. Just because I found that the Prism Trail, it, it, was, it was great, but it was a bit too much. Um, but that's been about for about three, four years, and it it's, it was a game changer. A lot of people were really keen on it. If you were light sensitive, maybe you didn't like it that much. But a lot of people aren't light sensitive. Probably ninety percent of people really liked it, and that was great. Uh, and what they did with um, mountain biking goggles were well, MX goggles, which we had something called a an MX torch, which was a lovely lens. Here's an example. This is a Troy Lee. Um, it's a good lens, again, a little bit bright, not, not too bad, and that's what we've had for, for years and years and years, a beautiful pair, on sale at the moment, a uh, beautiful pair of, of goggles, but we've, we've never had a, a mountain bike specific lens. Now, about three, four months ago, there was a, a new lens that was released again. Again, no one really said an awful lot about it. There was a couple of reviews from a couple of companies. There was one in the States that did a couple. And what they've done is they, they've taken the Prism Trail lens and they took on board the fact that a lot of people for years had been saying that it was you know just a bit too much. And they decided that they would change it. What they would do is they would take something that they're starting to discontinue, which is the Iridium, which is this mirror finish that we get. That it, it's a little bit different than a prism because the prism has some mirroring effect, but it also has some contrast enhancing effect. So it it doesn't dull, it warms. 
and the way that our eyes work, we prefer warm light as opposed to cold light. That's why blue light's bad. We prefer a warm light because the sun is yellow. So what they've done is they've taken this iridium, which they've started to discontinue from the sunglasses, and they've put that together with a prism. So we've now got a prism trail torch iridium lens. So it, it's a bit of a mouthful, but it is a better lens. Um, so it's not quite as bright. It's not quite as, as um, I'd say, orange. It's, it's more of a softer sort of pinky orange, which is lovely. But because you've got the iridium on it, it's not as bright. So it's a bit more of a mirror effect. Now that's been available in the, in the Radar EV um, top shelf. In the Jawbreaker top shelf, uh, so bottom shelf too. In the uh, Radar Advancer, which I don't have one here, but there's one on order. Uh, in the flight jacket and in the field jacket, I've got a, a field jacket there. Um, but we'll talk about those another day. Um, the reason why I'm talking about it is because, like I say, we've had this lens in some of these sports models, this Prism Trail Torch Iridium lens. But recently, like I say, about, I've had a pair, I think since the start of J July, I had about three, four pairs. Um, I couldn't wait, so I've let some people have them even before they were released quietly. Um, but you know, if you know people, you can sometimes get your hands on things, which is good. Um, so some people have been lucky enough to try this new Prism Trail Torch Iridium lens in a goggle, which is which is wonderful. So it's, it's the second generation of this lens. Um, like I say, because we had the Prism Trail, but it's the first time it's ever been in a goggle that we've had a mountain bike specific lens. So first time in Oakley's history, and here it is, which is great. But the other thing is this isn't a normal air brake. Now, of course, when Oakley we're gonna bring out the best new lens that they've made for mountain biking. They weren't going to bring it out in the cheapest model, they were going to bring it out in the most expensive model. But another thing that they could have done was to bring out a new model of that model. So we now have an Airbrake MTB. So not an Airbrake MX, not the motocross version. This is an Airbrake MTB, which is a almost identical goggle to the MX. The benefit is, of course, you've now got mesh. So if I hold it like this, you should be able to see that it's got mesh all along here, but also all along the bottom. So I hold it a bit closer. So you've got mesh. mesh. So you do have some foam along the rear. You've got this mesh. So of course, the good thing about the mesh is obviously you can blow through it. It's going to cause a huge increase in the ventilation. The only issue with the MX is, uh, I'm not going to lie, very occasionally I found that even with the MX, it, it would steam up. It was a really hot day at, let's say, somewhere like Bike Park Wales, like I went there on an Easter Monday. God, it was it was so hot. Um, it's about 30 degrees and it, it just, it was a nightmare. Um, so obviously they can steam up, but with this increased ventilation, it should be even better. Now the benefit Of this new lens is also that it still fits the old air brake as well. So you've got the old air brake, which was the beautiful one here. You can take this new lens from this air brake MTB and you can still put it in the air brake MX frame, which is great. So you don't have to buy a whole new goggle. Uh, you can just upgrade, for want a better word, your old. Airbrake MX with the new Airbrake MTB lens, the Prism Trail Torch and Video. Um, or you could buy a whole new set of goggles, which is great. The um, Airbrake MTB, this new one with the mesh, is only available in a couple of colours at the moment. You've got this nice black, it's not as nice as the uh, factory pilot black. Um, and it also comes in a nice green orange. It's called, it's called dark brush. I love a dark brush. It's a, it's a good colour. 
Uh, not, not my colour, I'm not too too keen on green, shall we say. So it's a nice, nice sort of greeny colour. A bit of orange, so yeah, if you if, if you like those colours, great. I would have thought that they're probably going to bring out some more colours, but um, at the moment they're probably just testing the market. Um, Negative people may say that they're just trying to see if they can sell more goggles. I, I think it's probably a good idea to have a couple of different versions. I mean, you've got the Airbrake Snow, you've got the Airbrake MX, now you've got an Airbrake MTB. It should should be good. Uh, we'll see if they bring out some more colours, but I think if they've just brought out two, maybe they're waiting uh, until Christmas. I, I don't know whether they're going to do something in, in the new year. Um, but yeah. It's good. Let me just show you what the, what the print does. If you want to look at my shirt, my lovely, uh, my lovely shirt, let me give you a bit of a colour, just to get an idea. There we go. It should look quite nice. So it should, it should warm things, but it shouldn't be bright. So you should still see the sort of contours quite nicely. I tried it at um, was it last week, uh, Black Mountains. Um, I let Ben Murray of Filthy Rides fame, I let him try this pair. He was very keen, uh, thought they were really good. He wanted them free. Uh, he's not going to get a brand new, unreleased Oakley free from me. Maybe next year. Um, but I let some other guys try them. I've had some people take them out to, to Morzine. A um, couple of guys last month taking them out they were really impressed so they were the best goggle that they'd ever had and at the moment I would say this is the best goggle that you can get uh, so hopefully people are going to start competing it's always good when people try and match something that Oakley do I think they're going to struggle because this is the best thing that I've ever used personally of course it, it's, it's not cheap so this new one is going to retail at about 195 uh, which is which is on on the steep side. I would admit that when you take into account the old, it's not old, the Airbrake MX the Troy Lee ones. These ones tend to retail at about two oh five. So I would have thought with this being a new lens, when and if they bring out a new model of the Airbrake MTB in a Troy Lee, it will probably be maybe two one five, maybe two twenty, maybe two. 225 or, or they might keep it still at 205 I'm I'm not sure we'll have to see but like I say the good news is you don't have to buy a whole new goggle just to get the lens you can just get the lenses by themselves at the moment Oakley aren't selling the gog the the lenses by themselves you can buy the whole, whole goggle but you can't buy the lenses by themselves but if you know somebody uh, you might be able to just buy the lenses so if you want some lenses drop me a message they're not going to be on my website yet, um, but if you'd be interested in getting a lens upgrade for your Oakley Airbrakes, at the moment it's only available in the Oakley Airbrake, I know I've said that about five times, but if you'd like one or you'd like to talk about them, send me a message either on the Facebook page, you can always email, and we'll go from there. But, that's not the only thing. So we've got the new Prism Trail Torch Iridium lens, but we also have Prism low light, which is different. So, where for years we've had a clear lens, it's great. Obviously, it's great to have a goggle with a clear lens, uh, stop stuff getting in your eye. When you go into the woods, half you wants to take them off because technically, any clear lens that you wear, due to how the optics works, you get reflections on the rear and front surface of any lens. So you have a clear goggle and you lose seven, eight percent. So in your brain, you're there thinking, I can actually see clearer or see more if you took them off, which is always a bit of a pain, but it's not a big deal. Now, if you took a lens and you added a little bit of a tint to it, not, not enough to reduce the volume of light by more than 10 percent. But if you had something that made the world look a little bit more rosy, like a pink tint, what a pink tint could do is a pink tint could increase the efficiency of how your eye works. Because as we said earlier, 
your eye prefers sort of warm light. So if you had a nice pink tint, like so, what it would do is it would warm. Let, let me show you. It's not going to make a big difference, but you might just see with the shirt, just warms it a little bit. Warms it a little bit. So if it warmed the light, what that would do in, in low light, in, in the dark, is it would counteract the fact that you're losing 7-8% of the light. It would probably increase the efficiency of the eye between 5 and 10%. Let's just estimate that it completely balances out the 8% loss of light quantity by increasing the quality of the light transmission to your eye. So you would see as well, maybe even better, in the dark, well not in the dark, but with these. So it's called a prism low light. So we've got two new lenses, uh, which is great. In fact, you might have seen, if, if you had a keen eye, when Danny Hart won at Revs, he won the Nationals. It's nearly two weeks ago. Time flies. Um, I was supposed to be going, but don't get me started. Um, he was very keen to put his goggles like this. Um, he was doing an interview, I think, I think it was Cy Payton was doing one for... For the Morgans. Um, and he had his goggles like, like this and I thought that was fascinating because he started the interview like this and he brought them round and I spotted that and I thought I know that lens. I don't think anyone else noticed that he had this new one because I don't really think anybody else knows about it. Like I say I haven't seen either of these lenses um, discussed uh, anywhere, there's been no promo, they're available though. I've got some pairs. Uh, I'm selling some pairs this week. I'm sending some out to some of my some of my riders. I've got some sponsored riders. Um, sending some out to a, a young Alex store soon, which is good. I think he's going to get this pair. One of the first pairs in the country. He's going to be getting those, which is great. He, he's been doing really well in the Welsh Enduro Series. Um, but yeah, the people who have had them, um, I've sent a couple out. Uh, Jimmy Nixon's used some. Um, I just really like them. They're pretty to look at too, which is good. I like the shininess. So this has more been um, an introduction, partly to me, like I say. Uh, I'm Greg. It, it's good to understand how the goggles work, I think. Um, some people sort of look at Oakley as being an expensive brand, and I would say... I think they're the best, which, you know, I can understand they justify what their price is, but it, once you start looking into things, and once you understand why they're probably better, you start understanding the, the lens technology, the history to it, the quality, um, the different layers of, of foam and the because this is like three layers people don't seem to understand how much better that these are than some other goggles there are some goggles that are comparable but some of them aren't some of them really shouldn't be in the same bracket um, well the same game shall we say as as, as Oakley's but we're going to get into that probably on another another video this was just about this new goggle or new new lens prism trail torch iridium best mountain biking lens that there is available in an air brake goggle but there's also a new goggle housing called the air brake mtb and then we also have this new prism lower light lens so if anybody wants to have a chat with me about them if anyone wants to order one might be able to do a, a little bit of a discount if you quote this video, um, can get a discount code. Well, if someone quotes the phrase "uppy puppies pappy," that's right, "uppy puppies pappy." You can quote that. I'll give you a little bit of a discount on these, but you're not going to get a discount on them. I don't think anyone else because, like I say, they're brand new out. They haven't been on the Oakley website for more than a month. But as this is an information video, if you've listened to the end. Then I'll give you a little bit of a discount if you make contact. Um, so we'll leave it there. We'll have a chat about uh, polycarbonate probably at the next one. But I'll also go through some of the um, 
sports sunglass models that are available. Like I said earlier, there's the Radar EV, the Radar Advancer, the flight jacket, the field jacket, and a flak. There's some other models like um, quarter jacket, racing jacket. They, they're probably discontinuing some of them bringing out newer models, some of them with this lens, some of them with this lens, um, prism low light. So we can talk about sports models another day, obviously normal sunglasses another day, but I'd like to go into a little bit why Oakley tend to be the, I'll say the premium or, or the daddy, let's say, of, of sunglasses. But we'll, we'll make some comparisons, we'll look at which ones are probably similar that I would classify as the same kind of quality as an Oakley and we'll also look at ones that oh, I don't want to say aren't very good but um, well, well well we'll look at them and, and we'll see so anyway I think that's probably enough for me remember where you saw prism trail torch iridium first king sunglass